I'm Helen Oakey, I'm the Executive Director of the Conservation Council ACT region. The Conservation Council is the peak body for all of the environment groups in the ACT and we have somewhere between 45 to 50 member groups that represent different aspects of environmental um, protection across, across the Territory and in the surrounding region. Our role as an advocacy organisation is to liaise with those groups and pull together a really cohesive um, vision for what the ACT and its surrounding environment should look like into the future. My name's Sarah Sharp, I'm a member of Friends of Grasslands which is a community group that advocates for threatened grasslands and grassy woodlands. It's really important for FOG to be a member of the Conservation Council as I think it is for most groups because it is an umbrella organisation. It's an opportunity to actually a lot of people to have input into different matters so that we can get together and actually talk about these things from the different points of view, uh, whether it's birds or whether it's um, transport and, and, and link them all in together with the, the conservation of these other ecosystems. It was even apparent when, when I was in government that the, the achievements, I think, of our group and, and the Conservation Council, it was a highly respected group. And so I think that the approach to respect everybody, to treat everybody equally and listen to everybody, has meant that we've actually been round the table a number of times dealing with some fairly big issues. The North Gungahlin strategic plan that looked at how that would be developed. Some of the more interesting work that happened was the um, Round Mulligan's Flat. By sitting around the table we actually got it to be a, a, a narrower road and then underpasses for, for small fauna to move underneath the road. We can't see conservation as being separate from, from other uses. Uh, so I think that's the most important challenge is to move towards an integration, not a and or conservation or something else uh, in the same way of not government um, working on these things or the community working on other things, but all of us working together for a common aim. My name is Ryan Lungi and I'm the director of the Canberra Environment Centre. We run a lot of workshops for people teaching them basic skills to help them live a more sustainable life. I think this work is really important because people need to feel empowered to own the future of our climate and our environment and to not just rely on the powers that be to make the decisions for them. To know that simply by helping someone fix a bike or sew a cloth bag or to help in the community garden, people can walk away knowing that they've actually done something to help. The the Canberra Environment Centre and the Conservation Council have a long history of working together. I love that the Conservation Council can represent me um, on a whole lot of issues politically. It's nice to know that you guys are doing the hard work for us out there. It's really important for us to work together and collaborate in the environment space so that we can achieve greater outcomes together, uh, to not duplicate things but to support each other and lift each other up. I'm Jimmy, I use he him pronouns and I help organise and run the strikes uh, with the school strikers. For me personally, organising and like running these strikes is confidence boosting to see how much change is being made because I want it to be made and because other people want that change to happen, that it is happening. It's made me feel a lot better about everything that's going on in the world to know that I'm doing something. I want to live in a world that's sustainable and uses renewable energy and just a world where I can have a future. Canberra School Strikers, we have our weekly meetings here at the Conservation Council. But it's nice to be in a space surrounded by people who share your beliefs and who are also working towards the same goal as you. I'm Rod Griffiths, um, I'm the President of the Conservation Council of the ACT region. Um, been President for five years and been on its board for ever, you know, since 1994. I think uh, people should really appreciate the breadth of uh, the community that is within the ACT and working for its environment. We've got groups ranging from cyclists to hands-on people working on the ground, uh, from people who are so passionate about uh, climate change, people who are working on transport, working on waste. It's such a broad spectrum of stuff that people are working on. By being able to combine their voices, suddenly it's a louder uh, voice that comes out, a louder piece of action that is able to be achieved. One person working in a field can achieve so much, 20 people can achieve so much more. By joining a group, you're actually benefiting not only yourself, 
but you're benefiting your family, the community as a whole, and the environment as a whole. It's that wonderful um, multiplier effect that people by joining organisations can achieve. Hi, my name is Annie Close um, and I'm part of two climate related groups that are members of the Conservation Council, um, 350.org and Stop Adani. Now 350 started with a small group of students in the US asking their university board to divest from fossil fuels. So trillions of dollars that was invested in coal and oil and gas is now not doing so. Stop Adani emerged out of many groups in Australia deciding they needed to work together to do something about this Adani coal mine. Well, 10 years on, entirely due to community action, the mine has not yet started, although they are clearing land. You know, the Conservation Council has been here for 40 years. I think that's a real achievement. And I was very quickly involved with the forest campaign here. Um, in defence of the southeast forest and many of those areas are now national parks. So that was led out of the Conservation Council. And we mustn't forget that the 100% renewable electricity that we have in Canberra was really headed off by a campaign that was based here in the Conservation Council. So Canberra Loves 40 was doing this work a decade ago and again it was the, it's the community that's driven that 100% the Conservation Council's capacity to connect with government, to, to stay politically neutral, has been a, an incredible, um, you know, incredibly valuable thing because it's a respected voice now with all sides of politics. Um, and so you can come here from whatever, whatever background you have, whatever your interests are, and you can be involved and do something positive and have a lot of fun. One of the really nice things about being a member group of the Conservation Council is you actually get to meet all of the other member groups and you have opportunities to engage with them, to discuss issues from different angles and it helps us come up with a cohesive position as we learn from all the positions that member groups bring to us and all their experience and all their expertise. We need to take the community with us and the more people we talk to that come from different places, different backgrounds and who have a different story to tell about what the environment means to them. That's how we actually build our environment community and that's how we actually build the kinds of policies that we need to take forward to make Canberra a more sustainable place.